It was only in production for five years and then got discontinued. Yeah. It only sold about 13.5 million units, yeah. which is one of the worst selling Nintendo consoles ever. Which I think sucks. it is for home consoles. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's crazy because Nintendo usually does really well. Yeah. I just think a lot of people got confused by the branding of it. Yep. It's very confusing. And everything's being ported to the Switch, so people are like, I don't really need one. Yeah, I think but I think people... you do initial jump was like well, what is it is it just like a souped up version of the nintendo wii they didn't really know that it was a brand new console yeah so there are two mainline versions yes. of the console there's an 8 gig and then like a deluxe 32 a, a gig 32 gig and they're both nice i would recommend the, the 32 gig because there's more storage but they're both really pricey it, since the console is discontinued we've done a lot of buying guides in the past this is going to be our most expensive buying guide yeah. because the console itself is getting expensive but now is the time because it's just going to keep going up yeah. so i would pull the trigger if you ever want one or think you ever will now is the time yeah the 32 gig is a black console the 8 gigabyte version is a white console both are super sexy i, I kind of like the white one but i do like that larger yeah. hard drive so why purchase a wii u if all the games have been ported over all the good games if you will over to the nintendo switch first off there's still some stragglers that haven't yes, been there are. Over. I know there's a lot of rumors of all these games that they're slowly coming to the Switch, yeah. but there's so many that haven't and I don't think ever will. So let's start with that uh, Splatoon. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, awesome which game. is awesome. I know the second one's on the Switch, but the first one's pretty incredible. And then one of the best party games, I think, ever is Nintendo Land. Oh, Nintendo Land is fantastic, and so a lot fun. of people sleep on that game, too. Yeah. Then you got Star Fox Zero, Pikmin 3, which here's what's weird about that is there's rumors of that coming to the yeah. Switch, the deluxe version. I that, love that game. It That's awesome. how they get you to buy it again by just calling yeah. it the deluxe and version. You mentioned Star Fox Zero. A lot of people hate on that game. I kind of like it. Yeah, I think it's it, a beautiful game. It's, it's fun a, to play co -op. It's a fun game. There's a zombie game on it called Zombie U. I think GameStop was like giving those games yeah, away basically were, not that long ago. That game's really fun. Yeah, I like that game a lot. It does have like a dated feel a little bit. Um, it didn't really, you know, comparatively to some of the other shooters and stuff that were coming out at the time or first person shooters, it didn't maybe stack up from a graphical standpoint but if you like zombie games it is a must play the other cool thing about the wii u is i feel like there are several games that were on multiple platforms yeah but the definitive version of those games in our humble opinion resides on the wii u. oh yeah it does starting with one of our favorite games of all time axiom verge yeah. here's what makes the wii u so awesome is the tablet a lot of people are kind of confused by it but with the tablet, you can have your screen and then your full screen. So in Axiom Verge, you can switch between your weapons. In Batman, the Arkham series, you yeah. can switch your tool belts right there. It's It makes the game so much easier well, to play. And, and in Axiom Verge in particular, you know, it's on all these other consoles, but it's a like a 8-bit, 16-bit era type Metroidvania game. So the map is really important. And the other versions, you have to pause it to look at the map. On the Wii U, you just look down and your map is right, it's right there. It makes yeah. the game so much easier. Then there's Deus Ex, which is really awesome. I think it's the director's on the yep. Wii U. That plays amazing on the Wii U. Again, that simultaneous screen helps you a ton yeah. in that version of the game. It makes it, by far, in my opinion, the best version of that game. And then, if you like beat-em-ups and you're a fan of Zelda Hyrule Warriors, I know that's available what on the Switch, I think. It is, but, but you can do two-player separate screens. So one person's on the big screen, yeah. one person's on the tablet. That's awesome. It is way cool. That's so we cool. actually did a live stream of it. It's so neat to each have your own screen, respectively, which on the Switch, obviously, that changes. It's a great game, and I think the best version, even though it got like a deluxe version on the Switch yeah, is still works. on the Wii U. We greatly appreciate you tuning in to this episode of Gaming Off the Grid Nibbles and Bits. If you like what you saw here, check out the full episode that this snippet came from in the description below. Much love, everybody. Cheers.